My name is Miss Lewis Jones and I am the BSU facilitator. Um, I'm also a co-teacher with Miss Ayala for algebra as well as a tutorial teacher at San Leandro High School. I hope that this will also accomplish um, some unity, so really bringing together not only San Leandro High School students, but also um, the middle school students who will be involved, as well as the broader San Leandro community. After so, King was alive, I would first express gratitude and thank him for all that he's done and all the sacrifices that he's made and the example that he has shown to everyone um, when he was alive and generations after he was alive. Um, I would also ask for his advice. I would um, tell, them, tell him about what's been going on lately, if he hasn't already known, and ask, you know, what would he do in this situation? And is this the dream he was thinking about? And how can we reach the young people to move forward so we can prevent some of the things going forward that has happened? Hi, my name is Coco Jones, and I'm the Black Student Union President. I hope this march will accomplish awareness and I hope more people will be speaking up, um, you know, the voiceless, because unfortunately a lot of people aren't speaking up. So I hope this inspires the voiceless, the people that are not speaking up right now for what is right, you know, inspires them and encourages them to speak up for the injustices that are happening right now around the nation and in our schools and, you know, everywhere. And I feel like, um, and not just African-American people, I feel like everyone should be speaking up because, you know, I feel like, you know, this march is to show that, you know, all lives should matter in the United States. It, they should matter, and that's the key point. You're right, all lives should matter, but whose life are, is really being valued and whose life is really being um, recognized in this world. Hi, my name is Joy White, and I am Black Student Union Vice President. This march is important to me because we get to celebrate the life and legacy that Dr. King had. We get to voice opinions and we get to recreate his dream by living through him and living through his words and educating ourselves and our peers like he would have wanted us to. I'll send out an email to the whole join us in the walk. So as we're crossing Dr. King definitely influences all my actions today because his strength and his fortitude and his resilience and his persistence with everything that he wanted everything that he knew was right for the community, everything he knew was right for his family, for his people, he did not stop until he got it. I learned about Dr. King when I was immediately in my childhood. It was a part of my culture, learning about my people. So um, growing up, Dr. King's words and wisdom, all of it was always in the back of my mind in the society and how I have to be cautious in certain places and just the unfortunate things that we have to go through as African American people in the United States. Black Lives Matter was created in 2012 after Trayvon Martin's murderer George Zimmerman was acquitted for his crime and dead 17-year-old Trayvon was posthumously placed on trial for his own murder. It is normal for African Americans to be profiled while driving, normal for African American students to feel inferior and underestimated about their intelligence, normal for Missouri students to protest about institutionalized racism. Normal for African American for an African American girl to be dragged from her desk with excessive force by S by an SRO on campus. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream.